I'm not gonna lie, that final scene with the clapping gave me some major Ava vibes with the whole congratulations scene. And given this is an episode that is hands down the most thought-provoking the most, kind of leaving you dumbfounded because, for me anyway, not really seeing how this could get a happy ending, but all logic points to things have to work out. You can use basic anime logic and say, Weiss will get saved, Weiss will be rescued, and all will be well. That's just basic anime logic for shows like these. Combine that with knowing where the main Ruby show goes in terms of the volumes. Yes, this is a deviation from where the original went, but given how they're promoting this show as like a canon adjacent is the term they're using, so it's canon, but it's kind of off where you expected the show to go, but it's still gonna kind of be its own thing, one would suspect that that means by the end of the volume, it will kind of go back on course to where the main Ruby show went. Not only mix that in with the creators, both on the Japanese and Western side saying, this is a one and done season, all signs are kind of pointing towards things working out. But when you look at this episode and the almost mission failed theme that was going on. Not only do you have Weiss breaking the chess pieces, to me that's like one of the biggest I was like, okay, destroying one I get, but they seemingly destroyed it all, and it feels like she's too far gone. Like, how in the hell do you save her? Add in the whole idea that now Ruby seemingly needs to be saved, it almost feels like we're building up to some depressing ending. I'm not sure like how depressing it they're trying to make us feel like it could go, but you know, I'm getting some like, holy shit, are we gonna get like a Madoka Magica vibe ending? Like, what's going on? And if you were to ask me, and like, you put a gun to my head, bet your life savings on a good or bad ending for the characters, I'm going to bet on a good ending. It just feels like the likely scenario. But I can't help but feel, even if it's less than a percentage of a chance, that the show could go darker. And, you know, I already know the comments, you're already typing on your keyboards, but you gotta listen, because this is something that I think in is intentional, right? They're making you say all throughout it, like, oh, you know how Ruby goes, you know they'll be fine. But they introduced a creature, this Grimm, that is so much more deadly than pretty much any from the earlier stages of the main show. And the idea of how it could corrupt, being established, this is the last loop, this is your last attempt, barely any coins left, now needing to save Ruby. Ruby is, you could save her, like, she's not a lost cause. Weiss at this point feels like she might be, and even though they probably will, like I said, there's probably over a 99% chance that they will end up saving everyone and go back onto the main course that the main show went, I can't help but feel like there's something about the phrasing about how this show is being presented as a one season and one season only, and I think to myself, if that's the case, what's the point necessarily of turning this into an anime just to tell a slight deviation of the intro, unless you're gonna do something incredibly bold, and if that bold decision is to actually remove a character, I mean, you could understand where the canon adjacent phrase comes in, because yes, main Weiss would still be fine in the main series, but holy hell would that not be a bittersweet dark ending to a show. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not me saying this is my likely bet, it's just at this point it's hard for me not to consider the possibility given how they kind of failed in this episode. What I was expecting was this episode and probably next week's episode would be the conclusion of the main battle, they would probably pull this Weiss to their side in the dream, and they would take care of whatever nightmare, grim, demon looking and creatures are out there, and that would be like maybe a couple more episodes before the epilogue. Instead, they were progressing, things were kind of working out, and then it all went to shit with Ruby seemingly being possessed herself. To me, it makes me say, how in the hell do you get back on track and f rectify this situation? I have no idea. And as someone who's been like a bit of a roller coaster with enjoyment for this show, last week definitely skyrocketed my excitement for this episode and future episodes. Leaving another episode two weeks in a row feeling more intrigued about where the plot and characters could go is a good sign for the end stages of this anime. And even though I wouldn't say this is the best looking show of the season, I think character models and especially faces with how they detail eyes in so many shots can be a little wonky and definitely never lives up to the intense animation of the intro to the show, which all those crazy action scenes that people were sharing on Twitter and Reddit, you know, those crazy holy shit look at Ruby Go, was basically done by one dude, so that's why next animation scenes don't look quite as good. But the thing that I think this show gets right visually is its backdrops. I'm not gonna say this is like the best looking show of the season, just 
The general character model is the general animation. It's not the best thing ever. In fact, I'd say it's pretty average, all things considered. But man, the backdrops. I mean, from the just empty atmosphere to like the no escape signs, seeing people literally strung up by their neck with chains like there is so many shots with the backdrops that make me say i don't give a shit about generally looking at the characters but the backgrounds suck me in and live up to a dream s sequence that i think this nightmare realm should be and honestly given the fact that maybe Probably next week's episode will be resolving, kind of like protecting Ruby, getting her back on track to not being corrupt, because seemingly she passed out on that train with all of the little Weiss and everyone else there, so she's probably a dream within a dream sort of a thing. If she can be woke up, probably wake up and then go save real Weiss. The big question for me is of all these chess pieces, which kind of seem to be like the key to getting to her, how do you end up breaking through to her? Because there's a moment at the very end where she's looking at this glass and there's an apple, looks completely flat, with one of the pieces there and to me it almost symbolized like the forbidden fruit like something like adam and eve you know don't eat the forbidden fruit for her it probably was like don't accept what the sillies you know all these horrible things are saying to you and she ended up destroying it so i have to question is there another thing that could be used to be the key to her heart or is it truly gonna go in a way that i don't think anyone would ever expect like i said i already know the comments are gonna say no you're crazy you shouldn't even think about that but it's hard not to when you consider what characters are doing in this show, where they're currently at, with how many episodes are left, and given the fact that they're not trying to say this is completely canon, it's just more of a deviation of where it started, but you always expect it to go back to where at some point in volume one or volume two it would end in terms of this show, and you could just carry on the main show in that way, right? But instead, it just gives me an ominous feeling. Honestly, if you were to ask me, what would I prefer? Would I prefer an everything works out ending, or would I prefer an everything doesn't work out ending? Not gonna lie, I would pick that not everything works out. Mainly because, one, you have the main show and a more positive direction, at least for the intro for these main characters, so it's not like you're stuck with, you know, just heartbreak forever. But a part of me just thinks it would work so well in this Shaft style, something where you think it's going to be hopeful. You say, oh, I've seen the original Ruby. Even if things deviate, I know. I mean, it's one thing that you could say, like, I'm setting myself up for disappointment because there's no way in hell they would actually commit to removing one of the main, you know, it's Ruby. But I would say, you know, it's Ruby Ice Queendom. It's different. So maybe they would commit to that. And, you know, it'd be something that you would never expect and definitely would get fans talking whether positive or negative, depending on their opinion, if they did commit to something that extreme. But I think given this episode and how despair-filled it actually felt, I think it's an important topic to at least talk about, even if you completely disagree with even there being any sort of chance. And like I said, I, I need to emphasize this. I truly think it is like 99.999% things will work out. But there's something about this episode that gets the evil bastard inside me saying, but what if? What if they did something evil to these characters? And wouldn't it be a shock if actually Weiss made it out because Ruby sacrificed herself? You know, there's so many ways that it could go crazy. But for an episode that's showing these pieces shatter, showing that no matter how hard they try in what's set as the final test, the final loop, no more going in or out of these dreams, it'll be too late to save her. I think it's important to consider the possibilities when the episode I think is trying to make you feel worried but of course, there's a couple of voices in the back of your mind more than likely. The first of which is basic anime logic in terms of, if you've seen 100 anime, you know how these shows ultimately wrap up. Combine the fact of like where the main show goes and how it'll probably link back up by the end of it, you know, there's a lot of logic and I think justifiable opinions on why it would never commit to going super, super dark. But at the same time, I can't help but say what if. And that what if is exciting, even if they don't commit to doing something that extreme. It's a fun kind of commitment to think about because then it gets you excited for future episodes, keeps the fear there, so if they do end up succeeding, you know, it feels like they overcame something intense. And given that this was an episode once again highlighting how she truly feels and how much she truly cares, it's going to be painful depending on the, the direction they go about it or feels like a giant cheer if they end up succeeding. Either way, thoughts and feelings and definitely theories if you got any on this episode and the future of the show down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new around here. Till next time everyone, please take care and have a good one.